Ned2 Pro version 6.05 introduces the new feature, Checkpoint Control, to support COVID secure sites and to help your customers protect their staff and visitors by monitoring and approving people as they return to work. Checkpoint Control allows you to create checkpoints within a building where staff or visitors must be validated before they can access other areas, helping to enforce health and safety guidelines and to protect user well-being. A site can assign temporary access levels to one or more users that will remain in place until they have been validated, allowing them to move freely around the building. This can help ensure they are wearing adequate personal protective equipment, have had a temperature check, or completed their return to work induction. The new feature allows Net2 to be configured so users can only access a reception or designated area prior to full site validation. Users will then need to present their token to a desktop reader to identify themselves. Once identity is confirmed and any additional safeguards have been met, an operator at reception can manually validate the user directly from the Net2 software, allowing access to the rest of the site for as long as required. It is also possible to configure checkpoint control to operate on an automated basis. An example where this could be beneficial is with integration to a thermal scanner. A user must enter the site by a specified entrance to have a temperature check. Once an acceptable reading is achieved, the user is granted access and their usual access permissions are reinstated automatically. The regularity in which this process takes place can be determined by the system user. Multiple checkpoints can be configured on site, allowing ultimate control of the system. When used in combination with Net2's occupancy management feature, Checkpoint Control can help avoid overcrowding and support social distancing. This tutorial will demonstrate how to configure Checkpoint Control with Net2 to support a COVID secure environment. Checkpoint Control needs to be enabled within the Net2 configuration utility. From the Features tab, select Checkpoint Control and apply. Within the Net2 software, access levels need to be created to define where users will be permitted before being validated at a nominated checkpoint. In this example, we are creating an access level purely for the reception door where the checkpoint is held. Configuring checkpoint control rules for your users can be done directly from their user record. Click on the checkpoint control tab and check the box to enable for this user. Select the access level the user will have before they are validated at a checkpoint. Specify the period of time users can remain validated for from the available options. As default, users are denied access to other doors until validated at the checkpoint. However, this option can be removed, allowing users to gain access under their standard permission. This will return events displaying user not validated at a checkpoint. Apply to save the changes. If you have manual validation configured, to make the process more convenient, a desktop reader can be set to checkpoint control mode. This is configured under options and general. Check the relevant box and apply. When a user now enters the reception area, they present their token directly to the desktop reader. The software automatically brings up their record at Checkpoint Control tab. The operator can easily validate that user. By validating, the user's access level returns to their standard permissions. To apply Checkpoint Control settings for a whole group, right-click on the relevant department. Select Properties and set Checkpoint Control. Choose the appropriate access level and settings. In this example, we are selecting the option to automatically validate on entry. This setting allows the user to be restricted to enter by designated readers before they are permitted access to other areas in the building. No operator validation is required if this setting is selected. By clicking OK, these settings are applied to all users in this department.